For more incredible action figures and collectibles, including the one seen in this review, check out Lindsay's Toy Room at www.lindsaystoyroom.com. <laughs> Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser and today we're going to be reviewing the Square Enix Play Arts Kai 2014 Robocop figures. This includes Robocop version 1.0 and Robocop version 3.0. I picked these guys up from Lindsay's Toy Room at lindsaystoyroom.com for $89 each plus shipping and handling. And I thought the, the 2014 Robocop reboot, it was surprisingly better than I was anticipating. Um, it still, I think, lacked the, the satire and sense of humor of the original film. But overall, as you know, an action reboot, which we are getting pretty much every other month this year. Um, it, it, it stood on its own fairly well. So, But uh, out of that film came some really cool uh, re-envisionings of the RoboCop armor and the design that Alex Murphy gets you know, completely engulfed in in the film. And I thought that uh, Square Enix did a, gr a great job of capturing the look of this new armor and the design and functionality uh, with these figures. So I'm really excited to kind of showcase that today with this review. We'll start off by taking a look at RoboCop version 1.0, and this is of course a throwback, like I said, to the 1987 film, and this has a ton of really cool features to it. It has articulation in the head, in the shoulders, elbows, wrists, sort of a mid-torso point there, and then articulation at the waist, in the hips, in the knees, and in the ankles. And then, I don't think this really counts as an articulation point, but a really nice feature on this is uh, just like the Square Enix 1987 Robocop, you also have the holster that you can just replace some of the small parts there. And it goes from one panel to three separate pieces that just pop into place. And then you can put one of the weapons in the holster. And I think it's the, uh, the smaller one, there it is, that fits in there better. And I think that just clips like right about there. So yeah, nice feature with that. But overall, I was just really blown away with the detailing on this guy. It's really nice how they added so much articulation to something that I thought would be I don't know, more of a simple figure, especially for this guy. But it's really nice that they have the ratcheting action on the joints for this one. He is a little top heavy, but you really don't have to worry about that because they actually include with this figure a quick assemble display stand. It comes in several different parts. There's the base, you've got this back brace that actually you can clip into different positions and then it comes with a bunch of smaller pieces to create this claw portion so that you can actually display your Robocop figure on the base and then it just kind of clamps around the waist like that and that's pretty nice like I said um, if you have him on a surface where he doesn't seem to want to stand up quite right it's a lot easier to display him with the base and it honestly it looks pretty nice on display it's a little cheap feeling I think because the plastic it's you kind of have to snap them together in some of the portions and overall I think it does the trick though and it, it it's very low profile as you can see the the clear uh, base and everything makes it look really nice on display so you don't really it doesn't really stand out so Overall, really nice figure. Uh, just to give you a quick look at the detailing, they did a great job with getting all the little minute features on there. Really, really looks nice. Oh, another thing to add is you can actually adjust the holster pieces on both hips. 
So like I showed you with the assembly on the other side, just reverse it for this one. Really, really well done. Give you a look at the back here. The only thing that I think would have been really cool in addition to all of this would be if they actually included like a separate torso bit from the scene where um, they dissect him and then you see just all of the organs that are left over after his accident. And it would have been really cool to have kind of just the, the lung, I think it was the lungs and the heart and then um, just the hand that was left over. But that would have been kind of a, a really cool little feature. A little gruesome for some people, but I think that would have been really nice for for this figure. So overall, was really impressed with this guy. And if you're a fan of this film at all, I think this is definitely the figure out of the two to check out. Next up, we've got the 3.0 version of Robocop. And this is, like I said, the more stealthy approach to the armor and has the same articulation that you've seen on the other figure. Also includes the snap together display stand and then has the same weapons. You've got the two smaller weapons and then the larger gun and then also has the removable portions to add the holster on the side and that is on both sides with the uh, the removable paneling. I found the paneling pretty easy to adjust on this one as well and just clips back into place there taking a look at the detailing this one it's it's a little more flat to me than the the first version I thought the first version had a lot more detailing in like the torso and on the armor and everything it seemed a bit more intricate than this one but this one has the more uh, subtle look to it with the the black and some parts are kind of a, a shinier black like on the shoulder there and on the helmet and then some are more of a flat kind of glossy black for the rest of the the body so has the same articulation in the uh, the shoulders with an additional point kind of that rolls here the shoulder pads are rubbery so you can make any sort of adjustments and this won't really snap off at all which is nice articulation in the elbows in the wrists in the torso there it's a little tighter on this one and then you've got waist articulation in the hips has that ratcheting action as well in the knees and in the ankles so yeah I thought this one definitely fits the sort of more action look to Robocop but overall, I still think the uh, the original was my favorite. Or at least the, the style that looked like the original film was my favorite. But I think this is pretty cool in its own right. Uh, I did see some minor issues with the paint on this one. There's some kind of red paint bleed right there on the helmet. It should be pretty easy to fix, but I did notice that right out of the box. The sculpt is really nice on this one as well. I really liked how they did the uh, the facial features. It would have been cool if they had some uh, removable mouth portion so you could put a different expression there, which would have been nice. There is an additional point, and this is on uh, both figures, you do have um, a point in the neck that moves separately like that, which is kind of nice. So you can get some added movement there. Give you kind of a look from the back. back of the helmet also looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's about it for this guy. And then like I said, he does come with the, uh, the display stand. So you do have that option if you need to display him. But overall, even though I wasn't a huge fan of this version, I, I still have to say this is a really cool figure. And 
I do like that they came with so many different um, accessories for this guy. Um, oh, that was the other thing I forgot to note. He does come with the additional hands, so you can change those up. And then the other thing that they both came with, which I thought was interesting, um, these little, I'm not sure if they're like tracer darts or what, but um, they come packed separately in these little uh, plastic cases. But yeah, that was an interesting little accessory to come with as well. But overall, thought this was a pretty cool figure. So in closing, all things considered, both of these figures are incredibly badass and respectively both do a great job of capturing the look and feel of the designs of the 1.0 and 3.0 armors that you see in the 2014 Robocop film. I still think that the 1.0 is probably my favorite out of the two, but honestly, they both come with a ton of accessories, a bunch of articulation, they're incredibly well sculpted and detailed, and the quality for both of these figures is uh, incredibly top notch. They did a great job on uh, each of the, the joints and how they're constructed, and I didn't have any sort of problems with these guys out of the box, and I, I was really, really happy about that. So. That's about it for this review. If you have any questions about the figures, just leave them in the comments below. And feel free to check out my review on the Square Enix Play Arts Kai Robocop 1987 figure that I also just did a review on recently. Another really cool piece uh, from Lindsay's Toy Room. But yeah, that's about it. As always, thanks for watching.